everyone, for some more of my go-ahead Eagles career mode for FIFA 22. And we are going to be playing the second leg uh, matchup against Ferenc Varos here in the Conference League. And we do have the 2 new aggregate lead over them because we simmed the first leg. But um, I am going to play with a rotated starting 11 here. A pretty strong starting 11, but... Um... Wanted to rotate because three games, uh, three days later, we do have this game against Canberra here in the Air Divisie, and then um, got all these games right here. And then we also have a Cup final, so this may end up being a shorter episode. We're gonna play this game against Ferns Barros, and then sim the other three, and then I'm thinking about doing this game on its own. No, I don't want to sim. Why don't I keep? I'm um, keep on getting used to playing on the switch. That's why. But anyway, before we get started, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But without further ado, we're gonna get into this game. This game against Ferran Tavares. I'm actually gonna put the home kits on them. It's so weird looking at this team now, compared to how I had this team looking. I see Botka, I used Botka, uh, Chivic, Dabu, Zubkov, Alski, and Zacharias, and everybody else I did not use in that particular career mode, but, um, anyway, we're gonna overcast guys at the Adler's Horse. This will be the only game I play. This is gonna be a bit of a shorter episode, because I do want to have the Cup final as its own episode. I don't know how many more episodes I'm gonna have in this first season of my Go Ahead Eagles. This may end up being a longer season, but E.C. Buwadu is a featured player here. You see, Malenga is considering retirement. I don't understand why they keep showing him, and he's he's not even a part of a bench, let alone a starting lineup. That conference league ball looks nice. You see Salamakers going along on the right, right hand side here. Oh! Well defended by Ferenc Varos. I think that was Bodka that was doing the defending there. Okay, Salamaker's going along the wing again. Wrench, I don't know what you were doing there, dude. Oh, come on! Okay, my team's getting off to a bit of a slow start here. I'm not really particularly li liking that too much. Okay, Ferreira knocking it home. Come on, Guado, what are you doing? Nice steal. Can you double our lead? Yes, you can. And that should be all she wrote. We have a 4 0 aggregate lead now. And we finished with a 3 1 win. Babaka getting another goal. And May and with a goal for them. Wrench came off, came, coming on for Rojas. But we end up beating Ferenc Varos 5-1 on aggregate. Getafe came back and knocked out Vicente. Roma knocked out Leicester. PAOK has knocked out Copenhagen. Of course, Spurs knocking out Spurs. Real Sociedad, Basel, and Marseille end up uh, advancing.
But three days later, we got this game against Canberra. Match rescheduled. Get prize money for advancing in the round of 16. Okay, what kind of draw do we have? Okay, who do we have? We have Basil. Okay. That's a manageable draw. I'm happy with that. But we're going to go ahead and quick sim this. And we get another draw. How, why are we drawing this game against Canberra? They're in relegation trouble right now. We could have easily lost that game had Buardu not got the equalizer. Why do we keep getting draws? Okay, we're still two points ahead of PSV and four ahead of Ajax, but... Man. Yeah, no kidding. Two points drop because you guys can't freaking get a win. And we're only... Eight points ahead of Feyenoord in fourth, so... But to be honest with you, as long as we finish... I know I say I said I want to finish third, but as long as we don't finish lower than eighth, then I'll be happy, which that, there should be no reason why we should be finishing any lower than fourth. But, stranger things have happened. How many more games do we have? Okay, we have uh, there are 34 games in the season, seven more game, seven more games, 21 more points to play for. We have a 15 point lead over fifth place IZ. We need to quit freaking dropping points. We really do. None of our players are even close to the golden boot race. I want to win our conference league matches. Stein Van Dorn is unsettled. Uh, I'll go ahead and promote you. Beckers, I definitely do want to promote you. I don't want to lose out on you. Everybody else can chill for a bit. But we're up against last place Volwitz, who are our arch rivals. Now, if we end up dropping points here, there's something terribly wrong. There really is. I'm really going to start to worry if we drop points here, especially with our strongest starting lineup. Got manager of the, manager of the month award. I don't understand how. But anyway, we're up against last place of all. I swear if we get a draw here. I was going to say, Evers, Boadu, and Hamer. Hamer's been scoring a lot of goals in sim matches. Duvall end up getting gets a goal back for them, but if we would have got a draw or a loss there, then I really, really would have started worrying about this team. But anyway, we are going to be playing this quarterfinal matchup against Basel, which actually works out because I, I mean, I would have ended the video just by playing one game, but at the same time, though, it just feels right playing this, which Evers is already up to an 82, Wrench is up to an 80. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five players now that are in that are at least an eighty rated. Buadu knocking on the door, cellar makers.
But yeah, I'm going to play this quarterfinal matchup against Basel. Okay, somebody wanting a new contract. Got bigger games coming up. Hangelman. We'll get to it soon enough. Let's go ahead and deal with that before our manager rating drops. I'm going to go and accept that. He did not want an extension, so he will be leaving us at the end of the season. Which I'm fine with because I'm not going to use him anyway. But anyway, Overcast guys, the Vault Stadium. Okay, let's see what their kits look like here. I'm gonna have to put those kits on them because they're gonna clash. No matter what I wear, it's gonna clash with their home kits, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my purple kits on them on us. You can see they got uh, Valentin Stalker, they have uh, Fedor Chaloff, Noah Kaderbach, highly rated, uh, high potential, I should say, left back for them. Um, Frey, I think that's, I think his name is Alexander Frey, or Fry, I should say. Lintner, Ingle, Robin Lintner, I believe his name is, the goal for them. Um, Tavares, a, uh, or Tavares, I should say, a high, uh, high potential right back. So this Basel team is no joke. I mean, yeah, we could have got tougher opponents, but Basel should give us some pretty stiff competition on their own merits, so I'm not going to take this one lightly. You can see Amaral as our featured player here. But we are in the quarterfinals of the Conference League now as we are up against Basel in Switzerland. As we kick things off here. You know, I'm going to go all the way with others. Why not? Nobody else was going forward. Our highest rated player in the team now, David Evers, started off as a 73 at the beginning of this career mode, now at an 82. Five goals in five matches in the competition. Nice ball movement there. Please don't waste this. And you wasted it. Good turn it, Evers. That's excellent ball movement, and then the final third, we just freaking choke. Oh, I think his name is Heinz Lintner, not Robin. Manager of the month for Leah B Bainhawker. What's going on with, the, with us in the final third in this match so far? I'm not liking how we're performing so far. Okay, there we go. Evers with the second goal of the match. Making amends for his awful cross earlier. Should I say awful crosses? He's had two whoppers of crosses so far. Okay, Ferreira, can you get on the score sheet? Yes, you can.
Okay, we're gonna jump to the result here. They do get a go back through Stalker, but Berman came on for Anderson. Berman also getting a yellow card, so we have to be mindful. That's Sociedad smashing Merce after Mer uh, Merce smashed. I, I can't remember who they played in the round of 16, but. Yeah, that's why you didn't sign a year extension. You're still going to be leaving in three months, idiot. But I'm actually going to keep this... Actually, no, I won't. I'll put a rotated uh, starting lineup here against Willem Tway. Hoax your loan offer. Uh, let's see. Delegate. Hopefully he'll get some game time here soon. Okay, we're going to be simming this game against home against Willem Tway. And we get another win. Verman and Helder getting goals for us. And we are going to be finishing things off here by uh, uh, playing the second leg here against Basel. And um, we are going to be ending it there and then beginning the next episode. Next episode will be a game by itself against Heracles here in a Ron Hay Becker final. But anyway, I'm going to put my strongest starting lineup here against Basel. Strike now out of, up to 79. He joins Boadu and Salamakers. Um, Jolinton still out of 78. Hamer still out of 76. Barker out of 78. I still can't believe how much Evers is growing. He's already grown by 9. But of course Tommy Waters and my Nottingham Forest career mode is growing like a weed in my career mode. In that particular career mode as well. But two's Lockett wants a contract renewal. Let me see if I can find them. Those two slockets, chat. I don't even. Okay, there it is. Center mid. Delegate renewal. Two year extension. No release clause. If, if it would have got a release clause, I wouldn't have cared. But um, we are going to be getting into this match here against uh, FC Basel here in the second leg. Do me. One year extension. I'm going to go ahead. I mean, a one year loan deal from uh, Alani Espoo. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. But anyway, we are going to rock our strongest starting lineup here against um, Basel. Partly clear skies at the De Adela's horse. We have a 3-1 aggregate lead against this team. So hopefully we'll be able to finish the job. You see Myron Broadu is a featured player here. But yeah, I still can't believe we're still up where we are. He scored three goals in the last three games, David Evers. I can't believe we're as high up in the air division as what we are. I, I still feel we're overachieving. I still don't think we're ready for Champions League yet, but... If we do end up winning the Air Divisi, I mean, that's great because that'll be a league title underneath our belt. But at the same time, I don't think we're quite ready to take that big of a step for Champions League football. But we'll see what happens.
What kind of... Come on, Salamakers. What kind of first touch was that? Come on, man! Can't you keep... The idea is to keep the freaking... That's gonna be offside. Come on, guys. Okay, Evers smashing it home. That's his seventh goal in six matches here in this competition. Okay, Jolinton. I think I crossed with him before his crossing. I don't think it's too terrible. Watch, I'll say that. And he'll, oh! Again, good cross. Evers has really come alive here in this episode. And no wonder why he is the captain's armband, because he's shown up. But anyway, we're going to jump to the result. We get another goal through Evers. So Evers got a hat trick here. Salai ends up getting a goal back to the, for them. I'm guessing that's a t that, that might be Roland Salai. I don't know. He came on for Chalov. Chalov was a striker. Okay, let's see. So, go ahead to Eagles, Roma, Spurs, and Sociedad end up advancing. Bunch of matches we scheduled. Okay, let's see how many freaking times he's contacted me. It only goes up so... It only goes back so much, but... Man, he's irritating. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my second squad here up against this team against Heracles here. And this will be the focus of the next episode. This is gonna be the only game I'm gonna be playing in the next episode because I do want this as its own... Hoekstra will not be going out on loan, unfortunately, but, um, but yeah, next time I see you guys, hopefully we'll get our first piece of silverware here in this career mode by winning the Orane Becker Trophy against Heracles, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.